Hi, what's up guys, it's Kurt here and today basically I'm going to show you how to make a desktop background quite similar to this uh, Wojciech Szczesny but today I'm going to show you how to do a Lionel messy one so basically I open up Photoshop and this is my screen resolution 1366 by 768 so I'm just going to click OK and then the page is going to open any time now right here is the page um, basically what you're going to do is you're going to pick two colors I'm going to pick we'll just use blue and the other color can be light blue like that you're going to click on the gradient tool and then you're going to make sure that this is selected and then I'm holding shift and then you're going to let go and then a little line is going to come and then basically you just make it so you can kind of get a good one I'm going to use, use that uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to have some uh, graphics packs I've got these two mosaics and mega graphics pack two uh, you want some textures and then you're just going to go through a few of these uh, I'm going to use this one just drag it on and then it will come onto the, the page onto the background uh, you can see it's gone over the top and basically just make sure it fits onto the page and where it says normal over here you want to click on overlay and now you can see it's gone to the back or you can have it on screen which makes it look like that I'm going to use it on screen because it looks a bit better and then press enter and now it's gone uh, and in the other uh, mega pack we've got some flares which is what I'm going to be using for the bottom of the page uh, we will use um, we we'll use this one for now we'll just drag this one on uh, make sure it fits the page again doesn't matter about the top not lining up because you're not going to be able to see it anyway We'll put that on screen too. Press this and then put place. And then just drag it down. Uh, you can see this little line. So you want to click on here and then it'll come up with this. Uh, make sure the hardness is on zero and you have a quite a big brush. So when you rub out like this, you just keep going up and down a bit and you can no longer see the white line. Right, now that that is done we are going to want to get the picture of the person here's a picture of Lionel Messi I found quite simple uh, just copy it and then paste it onto the page and then you're going to want to use the brush uh, put the hardness up a bit and then rub it out a bit and then you want to get it so it's around him like that and then Press Control and Plus or Equals to zoom in a bit, and then just rub around him again, like so. And then gradually you will get closer to finishing him off. Because uh, my brush is a bit too big, I'm gonna make it a tad smaller. Uh, but for the hair, we're gonna use a softer brush like a softer hardness so it doesn't go over he, like his hair doesn't get messed up um, and then we will eventually get a nice finish on him and then we'll be able to move him into position so this might take a f while as I'm not very good at this I'm quite slow so this isn't going to be perfect as it's just a demonstration to show you guys how to make a average desktop background um, so yeah that's kind of similar well not similar but it's quite good and then just go around the whole of the picture um, then eventually when you're done just move him into the position where you want him I'm going to move him to the right like I have with Chesney and 
and then he will we will be adding some text afterwards it doesn't have to be perfect cut but it will be better it, it looks better when it's perfectly cut Chesney was quite quick uh, my Robin Van Persie one's not as good because I kind of rushed it uh, Denver bars is quite good I just didn't add a few things into it uh, but other than that it's quite good my Jack Wilshire one's not 100% good but yeah like that and then with the smaller bits you want to make a smaller brush so you can fit the bit in there and make it a bit smaller like a 6 pixel brush like so that fits in there perfect like that and then over here Uh, my Nolan one that I made that also is for my friend is average but he seems to like it so I guess it's alright for him um, almost done with the messy just got to do his hair after this uh, in here and then his hair go and zoom out a bit get us looking a bit better make the size brush a bit bigger and hold this down like so the so hair gets a bit messed up but it's not that bad uh, but you can make his hair a bit better by making the brush smaller uh, and then we're gonna put that there hang on a minute I'm gonna move this down a bit I'm not liking it out there. Uh, messy is going to go on there, uh, and then you're going to put screen. No, you're not. You're going to keep it on normal. You're just going to drag it underneath the the flare. And now, what we're going to do is we're going to want to add in some text. I'm using the red rocket. He's number ten. So number 10 can go here like so. Uh, I like to add a little bit of a outline to the number. So we're gonna have that. We're gonna have that like that. So the let numbers come out, uh, and then we're gonna put final. We're gonna move that down to the same level because uh, it's a bit close I'm going to drag this across to the end like so and then Lionel can move over to this, to there uh, and then add the stroke again a, I think it was a 6 wasn't it yeah 6 and then the last word messy and then oh that's not a capital M or oh, maybe it is because as you can see the writing's not not fitting we'll add the stroke in quick and then we'll have to do some more moving around change that to 6 right. so we'll start off with making these smaller so we can move the layers around a bit more uh, we'll move the 10 over here move the line all up one as well now with messy we'll put that at the bottom like that so it looks like it's shining over the top and then Lionel can go where can we put it uh, you can put it anywhere you want I'm just, this is just a quick demo to show you guys how I how I make my background 
uh, we'll put 10 there. Actually, no, we'll put it next to the name Lionel. Let's get it closer together. Just zoom in a bit. And it gives you a better move. Right, so you can move it a bit better. Oh dear, too far. And then that's that done. And now what you want to do, you want to go onto flares and flames. Uh, and basically what you want to do is you want to look for some smoke. Uh, I'm going to use this one, smoke free number two. There, I'll keep going over the wrong thing. And just drop that in there. Uh, as you can see, it's gone over the pictures. You want it at the top. Uh, you just want to press enter, actually. Just press enter. And then drag it up to the top. And now you can see, as you can see, I'll make this a bit bigger. As you can see, the picture is gone. We'll make it like that so it's gone off the page a bit. Now, what you want to do is you want to put screen. As you can see, a little bit here, there's a smoke effect at the bottom. And then there's one thing left you want to do. You don't have to do it. I'm just going to add it in. Add a nice Barcelona badge to go with his as the task that team he plays for. Uh, you can move it around uh, and then you just want to click on it hold the left and uh, left mic down uh, uh, mic for oh my own left button down and click on magic razor tool and then keep tapping it till it goes like proper camouflage with the wall and then you want to move it press ctrl t and then just turn it or do whatever you want with it i'm just gonna yeah i'm gonna turn it and then press enter when you're done moving it and then just drag the layer behind messy at the bottom and then turn it into a screen or an overlay yeah an overlay there you go an overlay makes it blend in with the back so you got all the the back effect on it but yeah that's practically how you make it uh, I'll show you a few of my other desktop backgrounds uh, we will go to where are they all? They are in here. Oh, in here. I think. No, they're not. They are in here. Uh, here you go. Here's my Tony Romo one I made. The best one I've made is Cesc Fabregas. There's my Tony Romo. This is the very first one I made. It's not the best. I think it's quite. It's average for a first one. Uh, oh, wrong, wrong thing. Uh, here is my Denver bar one that I made. This is my most recent one. Uh, as you can see, it kind of went a bit foul here, but other than that, it's quite good. Uh, over here, we got Jack Wilshire. This one's not as good. It's average. Uh, as you can see, there's a little outline of him. You, if you want to do the outline, you basically uh, press Control J on the layer. Like, oh crap! What am I doing? Over here. Uh, as you can see, press Control J makes a copy of him, and then with that you press Control T. You make him press. Uh, if you press, oh, press Control Z to get him back. If you hold Shift and then drag him out, it keeps him at a square shape. And then just put Apply to move him, and just move him over here like this, and then turn him into a screen. And then that makes him like that, like I did with the Jack Wilshire over here. As you can see, you can only just see him. Uh, here's the Kevin Nolan one I made for my friend Tommy CBS. You can subscribe to him if you want. Uh, he's a West Ham fan, as you can tell, by Kevin Nolan. Uh, what, who else we got? We got Robin Van Persie. I've already shown you Chesney from the desktop background. So, as you can see, I forgot to rub out the line from the flare. Uh, I can't go back and edit that, I'm afraid. I Actually, I might be able to find out, shall we? Oh, no, can't edit it. So that's stuck like that. And then here is the Diana Agron I made. Uh, as you can see, there's a background there. This was made by me and my friend Darren. We, He's more very, he's very good at Photoshop. He's the one that taught me. And then from then, I'm teaching you guys who watch this video. And then the last one, my Cesc Fabregas one, which I think is my personal favourite one. There we go, Cesc Fabregas. 
uh, the picture as an outline of the badge and then Fabregas written here and the four and then him so yeah thank you guys for watching I'll please subscribe and I'll talk to you guys later